last month I thought about doing an experiment is storing coffee in humidity a controlled environment and it actually worked like I'm surprised and I'm surprised by the result more than anything because I thought it would like just keep the flavors or keep the coffee fresh not changing anything but I think the roasting effect of coffee is like make the coffee a bit better uh, like in the beginning but after like a month everything is changed like you don't taste that the the, co the bitterness in the coffee at all and the most su more surprising thing is like even like the flavors are more clear to taste and i'm i'm really excited because it tastes really good like it's just been a month and the coffee tastes amazing you could taste everything clearly and the sourness is on point it's not like sour it's just like there's that hint of sourness that give you that flavor when you taste like fresh fruits and it's just super amazing there's a, also a flavor that developed like in that and I think we could age coffee now actually age it in a perfect condition like if you store your coffee in 65% uh, humidity as, as an example and with the temperature as 21 uh, degrees Celsius or below that it should taste really good actually so today I'm going to, sh to show like this is uh, this will be the roast uh, this coffee was roasted on the 5th of November and this is the coffee from uh, these the coffee are from last month uh, they were roasted on the 3rd of uh, October this one is on 69 humidity and this one is on uh, is the control I, w I have the rest of them, which is uh, from 65, 62, and 50, uh, 58 humidity, uh, the humidity percentage. I will test those on another video just because I don't want to make this video too long. And I will test the different in, gr in grinding because there is uh, actually a different when you grind uh, humidified coffee. And uh, I will show the different in weight now in it, on, on the scale. And I will show you the cupping. And just to see if you want to see the how does the and a year a month old uh, coffee will bloom, and just to see how things start go. I'm really surprised of the result. And if you want to try it, I, I encourage you to do. Go and buy your uh, favorite coffee from your roaster, and just just that. And please let me know in in the comment down below or email me of your result because I'm really interested to see. I tested it with all of my coffees that I, were, uh, that I had. I had like 10 different type of coffees and like I had Bovidas after I started the experiment on all of them. And uh, the one that I taste tested was a Colombian coffee and it's it had the same, like I bought the same coffee and it had the sourness, uh, like it was a bit sour in the beginning, the fresh roasted coffee. Uh, and after a month, this like it's, it became really smooth, like super smooth. I mean, and the sourness was still there, but it was more of like a hint of sourness. So that's really good. So let's start. So I bought uh, the rock grinder. It's it will produce better uh, coffee grinds than the coffee grinder that I have because it's a cheap one so I wanted to have constant uh, result and perfect result and uh, I will be doing cupping uh, because that will produce like it won't be affected by like human errors or anything like that so we could have very good result I will test I will uh, be cupping the three the control the one month old uh, coffee that was humidified and the the freshly roasted uh, like it was freshly roasted five days ago which all of them are the same type of coffee this from the same roaster from the, it's ethiopian coffee and we'll see what how it's gonna taste and differ so now i will be weighing uh, the control coffee and the and the humidified coffee the 69 percent now and i will uh, like we'll see the difference between the weight I added 40 gram in the beginning, so I zeroed out, so it doesn't. So 
smelling this it smells like lime or uh, lemon it's like that's the control so it's uh, 40 40 grams as I added it in the beginning so this is the control and this is the 69 percent so let's weigh that so it added three grams of moisture if you could see that so it's 43 grams now so guys if you want to get these humidity packs so you could start storing your coffee in a, uh, with them you could go to amazon or ebay ebay is cheaper and sometimes than amazon depending on if you uh, if, if what you have so i will i will recommend 65 percent now till i continue the experiment the checking between different humidities from uh, 69 to 60 uh, from till to 58 just to see what's the difference what's gonna be and I will do another video about that if you're interested please subscribe and or so you could be like you could see the video after that So I'll start guiding now. Um, I made this little co little cover just to ensure no coffee will start going everywhere. So let's start now. Uh, so you could see that I will be adding uh, 200 milligrams. That will be the copy that was stored in the humidified container. We'll have 200 ml. So now we will let them sit for a couple of, uh, for four minutes and then we'll start tasting. So I did the 69 again because for some reason it, it, this one like the when I did it with the rock this one on, only had bigger uh, particle size for some reason which didn't produce any uh, it didn't bloom at all but when I did it with my uh, flat bear grinder it worked fine i think there is something with the conical grinder i had like when i was using my uh, so when on the and the conical grinder for some reason it will produce larger particles comparing to the same setting for the control or the fresh one i'm not sure if the humidity have any effect on that we need to explore it later on with different humidity and see maybe that's gonna affect it in some way or another so I'm redoing that and I already done the four minutes there and broke the crust and we'll see what's gonna happen I will update you soon so I started tasting them it's been like three minutes since I broke the crust this tastes like shit like it's really bad this is the control this is the fresh one this is the one that's the 69 but i'm doing it again just in a minute i will break the crust and because i did it i'm doing it again because for some reason it had really large particles like i mean uh, talking french press so it didn't produce any bloom so doing it again produced some bloom and like but tasting both of them they taste like really similar they have really similar profile so but this this is horrible like I cannot even swallow it comparing to any of the coffees that I had like this is just bad 
So I'll update, keep you updated. So we'll start testing all of them now again. So this is the redone. So I'm I'm gonna just remove this for now. Uh, so this is the 69. This is the fresh one, which is uh, roasted five days ago. And this is the control, which tastes like shit. So I'm sorry about that. So. This tastes really good. <laughs> like these two, I could swallow them, and I really enjoy them actually. So I'm going to taste them now again after they cool down. To be honest, see, like tasting the actual coffee when I poured it with the Aeropress or the V60. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it gets really good, after, especially the the one is a month old. Every time it cools, it gets really, really, really good. Like, it's amazing. Like, the flavors just pop up more. You could... So this is after uh, it cooled down, after 20 minutes of uh, making starting the coffee. Oh, God, why did I start with this? So, so the fresh one have some sourness. You could I could taste it on my right and left side of my tongue. You could feel it actually if you concentrate a bit. This is really good. Like there is something that, like happened to it in that month that made it really good. Like I'm not like I'm not getting anything out of this video actually. So I'm not sure what the fuck happened to this coffee. It's this really good. Like I'm like I cannot go back to drinking fresh coffee because this tastes really good. And comparing the fresh one to the a month old coffee, it's just really good. I like I cannot go back to fresh coffee now. I I want. All of my drinking coffee is just to be aged because for some reason my body doesn't uh, like get that much of effect of uh, like from coffee or caffeine. So I drink coffee for taste more than anything. So I enjoy like that. I enjoy this really well. So that's why it tastes really good. Oh, this is amazing. Like, <laughs> I wish you, you guys could try this with me. Oh, mm. oh, fuck me, this is good. I don't care. I don't get money from my videos, so fuck me, this is good. Sorry if anyone gets offended if, if I'm cursing or something like that. But this is fucking good. Like really good. Mm. <whistles> Mama. Mama mia. So the theory that I have is So the theory that I have is that co coffee when you roast it the oils develop some bitterness because of the roasting and when you let it rest for as all of the people say a peak of 15 days I think and most of the people I'm not going to say so when you reach I think 10 to 15 days the coffee reaches its peakness because like it, the the effect of the roasting is went away, I mean like on the oils actually. So that's a theory. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert, or I don't have any theories on that. So I mean any evidence on that. But after a month or two, the oils like or the effects of roasting gets eliminated. You could say. 
So seeing that or seeing all of that, I think the oils inside the coffee beans will develop more and more now. And that's what I want to explore and we'll see in the next 12 months after I start doing the next experiment. And I'm super excited to see, like I'm going to make a co coffee aged, uh, aged, no, what do you call it? A, co a, a coffee aged club, so just aged coffee. I'm gonna make a business out of it. No, I'm joking, I don't have the money or the resources to do that. So I think if a roastery could implement that, like there's a lot of solution that could be done. So like a roast, like they could have a limited series, aged coffee, trying uh, trying it on different coffee. I'm sure not every coffee gonna age the same thing or not every type of roast, like maybe a dark roast will not even need humidity storage or anything because it's already like you burned all of the flavors especially if you like, did it super dark but maybe there is something to it i'm not sure everything needs testing to be proven so we'll see what's gonna happen and things gonna be interesting all right guys thank you so guys the thing about bovida you could just throw the throw the throw the pack inside and it will just humidify the coffee and it should last you for a long time I'm not sure how long but that's what I need to test next it tastes amazing and I hope like I, w I really want everyone to try it once at least because when you try this you will not go back to order any coffee or fresh coffee or anything like that because this is just super amazing all right guys thank you so guys, if you have any questions, please drop them down in the comment section down below or you could email me. Your, my email will be in the description down below. Uh, every Any links that you may need, you will find also in the description. Okay. And I will, I will be continuously testing like the coffee scene and like I will have an, the my next experiment having 12 containers and I will test the coffee each month. So I will have a year, a year, uh, ex yearly, ex a year experiment. Sorry about that. So I will have each container each month. I will test one of these coffee. When my kilo of coffee arrives, it will be the same, the same uh, type of coffee, Ethiopian coffee. And we'll see what's gonna happen because I'm really interested to see the res different result or the different, the effect of aging coffee actually because that's. I'm really in, that's what I'm really interested in so I will have every month I will have an update a test test on that coffee I may do it with cupping which I probably do that but we'll see I may just do it as normal drinking I can do it as a French press or V60 or an aero press depending on what I'm going to do but probably cupping which will make sure I get the best result right guys thank you for watching